I feel like this side of my hair is killing it. And then this side of my hair is like trying to beat it with a stick and nothing's happening. So I'm sure you read the title and you're probably freaking out already writing hate comments. So let me give you a disclaimer. I did not turn anyone gay. It doesn't work like that. <laughs> I truly in my heart know that being gay is not a choice. It is something that you are born with or something that you know flourishes over time. I don't think it's a choice. Um, I don't think you can just kind of choose to be gay. If you're gay then you're gay or if you're bisexual then you're bisexual. Um, you know I don't feel like being gay is a choice so t technically you know, it is a clickbait title, but these are stories about men that I dated in my life that happened to be gay. Either they were confused about their sexuality and they dated me because they were trying to, I don't know, do the social norm of dating a girl to see how it goes, or they were gay and they wanted to test the waters with dating a girl, or, um, you know, they were just young and, you know, felt like... Either way, they were trying to follow the social norms of dating a girl or they felt a special connection to me. And they decided to try to try dating someone of the opposite sex, which happens. Like, people do that all the time. Like, who doesn't experiment in college? Calm down. <laughs> all of these guys are gay now or bisexual. So, I mean, I'm not going to say any names because <laughs> I, I really don't want to make anyone angry. I have nothing but love for all of the guys that I'm going to talk about in this video. They are all really cool guys that were a big part of my life when I was younger and we had some of the best times ever. Like, that was my teenagehood was hanging out with these guys and having a relationship with them whether it was a friendship or a boyfriend girlfriend thing. So let's just get started with the story time shall we? Sorry I had to give you that little disclaimer. I really just didn't want angry comments saying you didn't turn no one gay. Who you? Who you turning? What you turn? What? what did they eat the some of the straight people pie? I don't know. <laughs> I just didn't want angry people. Just don't be mad. And if you're mad then shame on you. So we're going to start with my first boyfriend who ended up being gay. Um, I'm going to call him Toot Toot because he was in the high school band. We did not go to high school together. We met in youth group, which you know, I met most of these people in youth group, which is kind of ironic. Not going to get into it. Still kind of weird. So this first person's name was Toot Toot. Now we traveled everywhere together. Once we became friends, we clicked. We were super, super close. His family took me on vacation with them to Texas. Texas. We went to Mexico together on a mission trip. Like, we were really close friends. Like, even if he had something to do in his town, he would drive all the way to my town to pick me up to do whatever errands he had to do. So, we were super duper close. And everyone kind of thought he was gay, but they didn't want to say anything to be rude because we were church people back then. And, <laughs> you know, to we didn't want to assume anything and we didn't want to you know push people to be gay or alienate people if they thought they were gay <laughs> so everyone thought he was gay one day he asked me out like we were always cuddlers we were very like physically touchy nothing sexual but like we'd hug a lot and we cuddle a lot it was nothing like really weird it was just like friendliness and one day he asked me out and I think I said no <laughs> and so that was at rest and we were still really close friends and then he asked me out again and I said yes because I felt like wow maybe I do have feelings for Toot Toot. So me and Toot Toot like kind of went on a couple dates and I remember us sitting in like the floor of Books in a Million and reading travel books and we had a nice little relationship going and then of course I chickened out because like middle school slash high school Hannah was a really flighty bird like oh my gosh don't even get me started on like middle school, high school Hannah, she was, she was intense. But, um, of course I broke up with him and we had always gone through the, like, should we get back together? We really like each other phase. And when we get new boyfriends and new girlfriends, we'd always be jealous of each other. Um, like, oh, why does he have a girlfriend? I should be his girlfriend. Or why does she have a boyfriend? I should be his boyfriend. <sighs> you know, it was just a point of like cat and mouse to where we really always liked each other, but we were always so back and forth. And eventually, I think it was because I was so deep in my Christianity that I was taught that being gay was wrong. And this is how I alienated myself from a lot of my gay ex-boyfriends. 
my religion taught me that being gay was wrong, that they're choosing to do this, and it's an arrogant thing to choose. And it's hard, but you just have to beat it. Now, <laughs> I'm not going to get deep into it, but I absolutely do not believe that anymore. At all. So when it came to Toot Toot, I think we kind of drifted apart once I started to get more like in my spirituality towards gays and that's what happened with me and the other guy too the other couple guys and I think we just kind of drifted apart and like I miss him so much like I really wish we could still hang out but I know he moved he actually went to school to be like a director which is so freaking cool and he found someone he really loves and it is a guy and they really truly seem to love each other and they have dogs and they just seem to be a really happy couple and I wish him nothing but the best all I can think of is like the greatest memories with him he probably only dated like two other girls until he started um strictly going to boys after me um so it was kind of weird for me that transition to he dated me two other girls and then he started dating boys and <laughs> it was kind of dramatic, but we could all kind of tell that he was um, at sexual confusion state. And what's crazy is everyone thought I was his beard, which was... On the contrary, me and Toot Toot were always extremely close, and when I dated him, I seriously had no other had no other motives than to be in an actual relationship with him and like have a good time. We were young kids, and everyone called me a beard, and like were, was really offensive to me, and I just felt really offended. Like, really, you think we're faking this? Like, how freaking rude! <laughs> But yeah, um, it was just a crazy time and I really liked him and toot toot if you're watching this video and you know who I, you are, like, message me on Facebook sometime. Like, let's be friends. I'll go visit you. Cool beans. Let's go. So the next gay man that I dated, his name was, well, we're just gonna give a fake name, Emo Prince. <laughs> what? What? Emo Prince? What? I was the little emo kid. Um, I had a lot of self-harm issues. I wore a lot of black. I wore a lot of plaid. I wore a lot of everything. <laughs> I don't know. I was just part of that little emo kid group that everyone was part of in middle school and high school. Not so much high school, mostly middle school. When I met Emo Prince, let's just call him Nemo. Can we just call him Nemo? When I met Nemo, I was terrified because he was already gay. Like, he had already came out of the closet at a young age. He knew he was gay. And... I was terrified because my whole life in community I was taught that gay people, atheists, um, people who are different than you that may not follow Christ, um, they're scary. You don't want to be around them. They can influence you. They can take you away from the faith. I'm not even lying to you. This isn't some kind of cult. This is Christianity that I've lived through. So when I met him, I was terrified for some reason. And <laughs> I met him in JCPenney when I was with Toot Toot. Because they were really close friends. Nemo and Toot Toot, super duper close. They were both in band. They both went to school together. And he, I was terrified. I was, like, walking behind him because I was too scared to, like, talk to him. And But I knew he was really, really cute. Like, every girl's dream. Every emo girl's dream. He had, like, black hair. He was very attractive. Very cute. Had a little soul patch already. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> Listen to Evanescence. Like, What? I was falling behind him and we went into JCPenney and he started rolling around in the prom dresses and saying glitter. And he wasn't scared anymore. <laughs> like, oh my god, this kid is just as weird and weird as me. Just as weird. So, me and Nemo became super close friends. Like, I'm talking like super awesome close friends. We never wanted to be apart from each other. Nemo and Toot Toot and myself, we go everywhere together. Like, we were inseparable. We were the dynamic three. And of course, my friend Lindsay was always with us too. Like, we were always together. Always together. And like, we, my Toot Toot had like hot tub and like an awesome pool. So we'd all go swimming and sit in the hot tub and like gossip. Like, I freaking loved Nemo. So I had a big crush on Nemo, and for some reason, even though Nemo knew he was gay, he had a crush on me, and it really confused him. So I was like, well, let's try to date, and he's like, no, 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 I'm, I'm gay. <laughs> I am, Hannah, I am gay, like, I like, I like the dingling, okay, like, no. So I'm like, okay, okay, I'm gonna respect your boundaries, like, I'm not used to, like, hanging around with gay people, so you know what, I'm just gonna respect your boundaries, and... He would tell me how beautiful I was, and we would hold hands, 
and we would peck on the cheek and peck on the lips and like we were pretty much boyfriend and girlfriend just without the title because he ha he was kind of rung up on I'm gay like I have to be gay like I'm gay right like I'm gay like I know I'm gay like what, what is it? <laughs> so one day he calls me up and he's like Hannah I think we should be in a relationship together and and I like die like this super hot guy just called me and told me that we should be in a relationship when he doesn't like girls he just likes me like how egotistical am I very egotistical it was half me being like whoa I'm turning gay man straight which I'm not like I know I know I know like oh, I'm turning gay man straight and oh he finally likes me oh my god he likes me back oh my god we're gonna be in a relationship heck yes we're gonna have babies or maybe not we'll adopt whatever he's cute whatever back in the day I wasn't too into like the sexual stuff so I guess dating a gay man was kind of good for me in a way and we were both like little injured birds we were both little emo kids that had a lot of stuff happen in our childhood in our past and like we, we were brutal <laughs> we were hard core people um, that had a lot of stuff going on up there so we were very much connected and we dated for I think a week the first time and it just didn't work out he was like Hannah look I'm sorry like I really tried but I can't imagine myself like growing old with you and like having to have sex with someone that I don't like want to have sex with like I, I love you but I, I don't know if I can do that because I am <laughs> like I love everything that's going on up here but down there it's like I'm not attracted to that I'm attracted to men and being with men so <laughs> maybe I'm just manly I don't know but yeah that was our first breakup and then we got back together for a little while because he was like well let's really try this maybe I am bisexual and I just don't know and if I'm gonna try a relationship with any girl in this world I want to try it with you which was once again like it, it hurts my heart because like we were so close and we had so much fun together like we were best friends and <laughs> I don't know we tried again and I don't remember why it failed so hard the second time but it did and uh, the greatest part is is we never stopped being friends like I was probably a little angry at him for like dating me twice and then calling it off twice but we never stopped being really close friends and I'm pretty sure I was the last girl he ever dated first and last <laughs> Then he met a really nice guy online. We were all skeptical um, about this guy online and he decided that he was gonna fly all the way to another state and live with this random guy he met online and we were all so worried but honestly it was the coolest thing in the world because he flew to that city with the guy and they moved in and they've been together for like oh my god six years? They've been together for like six years. So I mean that is awesome like that's a cool like internet meetup story now little little boys and girls please don't go just flying places to like random men you don't know <laughs> but I thought it was cool how that worked out and it just happened to like really work for him and we talk on and off like on Facebook which he doesn't have a Facebook anymore I miss him we talk on Facebook on and off and I got to see like stuff that was going on in his life but now he doesn't have Facebook anymore but like I really miss him and whenever he comes back to my hometown we are definitely getting back together because we are like a dynamic duo you guys we're like the coolest friends and like I have a bae now and he has a bae now so it's just like it's cool I don't know we just need to get together hey Nemo if you know who you are like contact me like bro miss you it's the old lines, uh. So my uh, like, I, I, this is when it gets, like, Hannah, really? This many gay ex-boyfriends? Like, what did you do? But the reason I felt, I called this video, I turned my boyfriends gay, is because my friends would make fun of me saying, wow, Hannah, you must be turning men gay because all of your ex-boyfriends are dating dudes now. <laughs> But no, it, that's not the case. Once again, I already talked about it. But my next ex-boyfriend, we... That was, like, my first, like, real, real relationship. As in, I met the parents. Uh, we went to, like, dances together. And we were seen publicly. And we were really public with our relationship. Let's see. What can I name him? Ma. Yeah, that's kind of weird. But okay. We're just going to go with it. So, uh, we met in high school. We all did kind of, like, the same things. Uh, we were in choir together, we were in all of our extracurriculars, we were in theater together. We pretty much did, we were just kind of in the same group all the time doing the same things. So me and my mom became like close, close friends and then one day um, he asked me out and I was like, what? I do this thing to where I don't really like people too often, like I'll have like unrequited loves where I'm like, we'll never get together but you're really cute and I'm gonna kind of like fawn over you for a while. But I never really like really liked someone that I was close to. 
and then like hope they like me back except for like Nemo but it was weird how he was like I like you and I'm like this could work I guess I like you too let's do this <laughs> so we started dating and I think we dated for about six months like I said this was like my first long-term like big relationship in my life and really close like we had a lot of fun together we're a little more physical together than I've had with a boy and um you know I never thought anything of it you know he was a little effeminate but honestly there are a lot of effeminate out guys out there that really like girls that are like straight and like very straight then there's effeminate guys who are gay like you really can't tell if a guy's gay or straight by how effeminate they are because you know just because a guy likes theater doesn't mean that he's automatically gay like he's more than likely but doesn't mean he's automatically gay like you can't just anyway <laughs> so me and him dated for a long time and we had some drama I feel we had a lot of drama because I feel like some of his friends kind of made the drama a little weird and um of course I'm a weirdo so I'm sure I did something crazy wrong <laughs> and I loved his parents so much I remember for like me and uh mama's prom we went to his house to eat and his mom and dad like set up this whole beautiful table and like this beautiful dinner with like all the courses like salad entree dessert and they would do like card games for us for like entertainment it was so fun like that was when um one day we were driving in his truck and he said i don't think we should be together anymore and i was like what the i don't I was really confused and I was really heartbroken over it and it me and you know what I just kind of like I gossip to people because that's just what I did back in the day I still do sorry um it, I just kind of like talked it over with friends and I talked it over with his friends and I was all angry but like as time progressed me and him became close friends again we were gonna date again um but I had like a mental breakdown it's a long story but I had a mental breakdown over the phone with him um the day of a prom I think it was like 11th grade prom and then when I got to 11th grade prom I'm like so we're gonna get back together right and he's like no <laughs> I mean play <laughs> we didn't get back together again and it was a really crappy prom for that because like I was expecting to get back together with the boyfriend I liked but of course he like denied me hard because I'm a freak but after that we were still pretty close friends like we didn't like we weren't as close but we were still friends because of course we were still in all the same extracurriculars together so it's not exactly like we could just ignore each other the whole time we had to be civil with each other so you know it was kind of awkward I think he dated one more girl and I think he like did a couple girls maybe even I don't I don't know for sure like I'm not gonna put words in anybody's mouth or create any gossip or rumors but I'm pretty sure I was one of the last girls he dated and then he came out of the closet and he had a lot of really tough times I just felt really bad for him even as just like a friend from high school like for him and I felt bad and I my heart reached out for him and his family and his struggles um happy for him because I have him on Facebook and he's doing really really well and I'm glad to see him succeed in all the things he wanted to do in his life and he's always had that in him he's a very talented individual and I just I, I have nothing but love for him too like if you know who you are mama um like keep going strong like you're doing great and that's all I have to say to him like you go mama you go this guy I dated um, he was gay and then he started becoming he became a Christian so of course when you become a Christian in our community you're supposed to be straight again you're supposed to have this revelation that oh no I'm straight like cool like yeah I praise Jesus so he became straight again which I think he was more bisexual beforehand because I think he did like guys and he came to my church and we started hanging out I don't know what's up with me like attracting gay and bisexual men I don't know what it is believe me there are much more stories than this um <laughs> he started to like me we were going to like summer camps together we were hanging out together we were in the same youth group together I guess I can call him Benny we'll call him Benny so me and Benny started hanging out he started picking me up from my house and we go like eat out after church and we hung out a lot because he was really close friends with my friends so you know one day he decided to ask me out will you be my girlfriend and I said <laughs> later tater and then I slammed the door in his face my friends were really really mad at me about it um maybe not mad they were kind of like 
they felt betrayed like that I had done that to our friend like that was kind of rude like you could have at least turned them down nicely nicely I was kind of rude about it and I did feel bad so I went back and I'm like I'm really sorry like maybe if we have more time to hang out and we get closer maybe so so that's what he did he um would take me everywhere with him just like I did with Toot Toot and um Nemo and we got super duper close and then he tried asking me out again and I said yes so everything was pretty peachy at first I think we did it for about six months and then things started to get really really not okay I'm gonna try hard not to like say too many things about what happened because you know it was a while back maybe I could be getting some things mixed up for all I know but it was to uh, in short Christianity made him feel like he was superior to me so he would say some really not so nice things to me to keep me in line to keep me with him I think he said those things because he felt insecure about keeping me which sounds awful but he felt insecure about me staying with him because I always kind of seemed like the flighty bird that I've always been when I was younger. So I think he would kind of say things that would make me feel guilty or bad to try to keep me with him, which is not how you want to be in a relationship. Like, that is total negative, like, don't do that, girls. Like, if you're in that sort of relationship where he thinks he has to make you feel bad for you to stay with him, like, don't do it. He was kind of rude to me. He treated, don't get me wrong, there were such good parts in our relationship, but there were other parts where he would always want to get exactly what he wanted and no questions asked. And if you tried to speak, like, try to give him other options or maybe, like, help him not make bad decisions, he would just be like, F you, like, I'm going to make the decisions I want. I'm going to do this no matter how bad the consequences are towards me or you. So it was kind of a complicated relationship where it was so, like, tug of war. And he pretty much said he was going to marry me. He already had said that he was going to ask me to marry him at one of my best friend's weddings. And he was just, he said he was going to marry me. Like, and I mean, at the time, I was, I had never had like a truly Christian relationship. So I felt like I was kind of obligated to marry him. And I know you're like, oh, Hannah, you aren't that stupid. I'm like, no. I'll do that sort of thing to you if you let it. So I felt obligated. And I know, I knew by like the four month mark I didn't want to be with him anymore but me and my his friends were my friends and we were part of this big ch church group where I was a leader and he was a leader so I was worried that if we did break up I would lose my friends and they would choose to go with him or I'd have to leave the church because it was just kind of an awkward thing to be have ex boyfriends and girlfriends in churches together and it's happened a lot but you know there are a lot of people who stay in churches and are like screw it like I'm staying in this church if you want to stay here too good for you we're just gonna ignore each other but I wasn't that type of person it was either like leave my church and my best friends and they all follow him or I stay there awkwardly and all my friends are with him and all the church is on his side and not mine. So I went through this time of depression where I just wanted to be out of the relationship but I stayed in it because it just wasn't I don't know I felt stuck. I really felt stuck. I was reading some blog posts about how stuck I felt. Like, I was in a miserable, bad, bad place. And then he finally broke up with me. I was glad it was over. We became pretty decent friends after that. Then he started um, to be with guys again. And he was still a leader in the church. And I didn't want, I knew this was going on. But I really didn't feel like it was my place to tell anybody about it. That was his place. That was his time to tell others. And when they found out that he was dating men, then of course they had to not excommunicate him from the church, but kind of excommunicate him from the leadership position that he was in. Benny was very angry. Um, Benny tried to get back with me, and of course I said no a thousand times. And we were okay friends after, but he had a lot of hate towards me. And he tried to date one of my friends, and I easily warned my friend, like, you know what, I not gonna work out like here's what happened with me and him this is why it didn't work out for us and I just don't want you to be in that position because I know that he's struggling and um bisexual I know now he moved away and he did find someone that he really likes who's a man and I'm hoping that maybe he came to some clarity in his life where he's not um so abusive towards others he lost a lot of weight and he made a lot of life changes so I'm thinking that one of those life changes was being a more understanding person which I'm sure like we all grow we've all had those times of being like immature and not okay with people and then we learn to be more tolerant and loving so I'm hoping he went through that in his life I loved his parents his parents still like talk to me I love them they're the sweetest people in the world 
And even when he broke up with me, they said, Benny, that was one of the worst decisions that you're going to regret for the rest of your life. And that was really sweet of them. And they'd always make me, like, food when I came over. Like, my favorite foods that I would say I like. They'd, like, make them especially when I came over. And they offered me weed brownies once. once so, that was really freaking cool of them. Like, thanks. <laughs> of course, I didn't take them at the time because I was a good little Christian girl. I also had... Um, that was, I don't want to talk too much about that. I, I, I don't want to dig anybody in the mud or anything, and I'm, I'm hoping none of you guys can kind of figure out who the, these people were. <laughs> I'm hoping it's kind of like y'all don't understand. So, if, <laughs> sorry, this video probably went on forever, but it was just so much stuff that I needed to like put out there and it feels really nice to kind of like air out everything. But yeah, that's my weird story time video. So I have to talk to you to death because, you know, I just have a lot of stuff to talk about. Life is fun. I'm killing it. Not really. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give this video a like if you ever had a situation kind of like this one. Can you believe that was like one, two, three, four, wait, one, two, three, four whole guys that I dated that turned out to be gay interesting very interesting that doesn't usually happen usually it's like one gay man that you date in your life and you're like whoa that was that was crazy but no I had four you feel me <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching I can't wait to see you guys in my next video make sure like I said like down below subscribe for more videos like this and I hope you have a fantabulous day bye